Hi there, in this video we're going to and down, uh, up and right. Okay, so right and left does the star inset, and the up and down does how many stars you've got. So it's totally up to you to see what you want. Um, so just pick, uh, like, it, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Okay, they all have different looks. So how many stars do I want? I practiced with about six, that look good. What I'm gonna also do is hold shift so that it's a perfect uh, height and width. Great. The other thing to note is your reference point needs to be in the center so that when it rotates in a second, it rotates from the center around. Next thing is we need a gradient. I'm going to have no stroke. Thank you very much. And my gradient, go to window, go to color, and go to gradient. Okay, I'm going to pick linear. Make sure if it doesn't fill it like it did here, it's actually put a gradient around the stroke. You can kind of see it there. See it's light on this side, dark on this side. So what I'm going to do is make sure I'm going to turn that back to none. And just make sure that you're identifying your fill. To do it, can you see over here either your color or this panel here? Just click on the kind of fill. make them more bendy to a point it goes to a certain point it just doesn't get any more round okay it's up to you i'm going to go with that kind of yeah that looks good keep going down okay all right the next thing i want to do is make it quite big how big uh just make it a bit bigger than your page um i'd like to make it really big but it's, it's a little hard to work on so we're just going to make it about that sort of size i'm going to try and see if it can be in the middle yeah it doesn't have to be so the next trick is the kind of rotation and repeating bit. So to do it, we need to find over here on our kind of like tool bar here underneath the scissors, click and hold down. Yours might be set to the rotation tool or the free transform tool, pick, pick these guys. So we're gonna do rotate first. This has to go first, rotate. Okay, so, um, and then once you've picked it, double click it. And what it does is allow you to kind of type in the rotation that we're gonna use. Um, and I'm gonna use 15 degrees. And instead of clicking on OK,
But it's not exactly what I wanted. I wanted to change the color. So I'm going to go back to transparency and instead of color burn, hue in this case works. Okay, so you might have to play around with the top color to decide um, which you want. Watch this. With them selected, I can go through now and decide actually I want to see what it looks like in pink. And I want to see what it looks like in orange and green and all sorts of stuff. So um, yeah, uh, transparency mode set to hue will give you the option to go off and adjust the color. Maybe get it closer to a brand color that you might need to match. All right, now I'm actually finished for this video. Bye now.